I just got my new package in the mail and I'm super excited. I ordered myself an Earthway Precision Garden Seeder and I'm gonna open it up and share it with you. I've been gardening for 15 years and even though I've had a very large garden over, you know, the last seven years or so, I've never felt the need to get a seeder until now. I've always felt more than capable of hand seeding and because I've been doing it for so long, I'm actually quite quick at, at hand seeding. But because we are going to be trying to start you know, a small scale farm. I figured now's, now's the best time to, to get a cedar. And I do have some fall crops that I wanna get in. I have some radishes and a few other things that I should be able to harvest before our hard frost or things that will overwinter like a, like a winter kale. I picked the Earthway Cedar because when I was doing reviews, it sounds like this is a fairly good quality cedar. Um, you know, it, I'm going to be using it on a little bit of a larger scale. Well, it sounds like it's well suited to home gardening as well as, you know, like small scale farming. Um, you know, it's, it's not the top of the line when it comes to cedars, but it definitely, it also isn't priced <laughs> at the very top. I, I was comfortable with the price of it. Um, I'm Canadian and I paid 175 for it and it, it, it sounds like it'll do what I need it to do while I get comfortable with the cedar to then decide if in the future I need to upgrade to you know a little bit more heavy duty of a cedar or if I can stick with the, the Earthway Cedar. Like uh, any true gardener, I'm gonna use my, my hoe to <laughs> open up my package here. Some assembly required. Let's see if we can put this thing together. Don't stop. I'm not a man, so we need the instructions. Stop. Not as useful as IKEA. These directions need need some actual reading. <laughs> First impression, pulling out these pieces. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with how much is plastic. The wheels are plastic, which which is fine, um, but I'm not super stoked on the fact that the seed plates are plastic. Um, but we'll we'll see how the it goes when I actually use it. Okay, you need tools. Okay, so step one was turn this piece down to get a kickstand. Step two was to remove the, the connector and put the wheel in here and reattach it. Um, step three is saying that I need to open up this bag to get a special bolt to attach the handle to this section here. You'll also need a wrench, which isn't included in the kit. Okay, so the special piece goes on the top piece of the handle, which is going through here, I assume. This is the handle. There's four spots. You have four bolts and four nuts. So I'm just gonna guess it goes here. Okay, 
Okay, I just realized I'm putting this on wrong, which you don't want to do because these are locking bolts and they're going to be a pain in the butt to screw on and therefore a pain in the butt. The handle has a curve in it. You don't want it to curve down to the ground. You want it to curve up towards you. And you will want two wrenches, one to hold it and one to spin it. So I need to go get some more tools. turning into a stereotype about women not being able to build things. Piece that holds the row marker. Looks like it just slips into place. There we go. Okay. Row marker. Pain in the butt. So to get the row marker, you gotta use this like pin clip piece, but it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Now I'm going to embarrass myself and fight with it for like 28 minutes. Row marker installed. Ian's coming to laugh at me. So I have it all put together now and I have my garden tilled. I need to give it a bit of a rake first, but I'm excited to now give this a go, see how this thing actually, actually works. Before I started uh, using the cedar with seeds in it, I gave a couple like just pushing it around the garden runs. And one thing I found was if the garden isn't raked level, if you have some like ruts and dips in it, you won't actually get like an even seeding because it just has to run parallel. So before I pulled out the cedar to actually plant stuff, I gave the garden a rake and I made sure it was nice and flat. Loading in the seed plate is really simple because it says on it, on, off, for the direction that you need to do it. And then there is little cutouts in the center piece that tell you where to line it up inside the, the hopper. You just load it in there, wherever, you shouldn't force it, it should just pop on really easily. And then if you don't remember which way, it's also written on the top of the hopper which direction. And then you just turn it in, until it kind of clicks into place. It won't click or anything, you just kind of get it on there. But I found that as long as I pushed it a little bit, it was fine, it stayed on, I didn't have any issues of it popping off, but I did give it a little bit of a push so that it didn't rattle off while I was filling up the hopper. Are you able to balance the cedar and fill it up with seeds at the same time without spilling? Well, it has a kickstand for that, which I'm not currently using, but it is designed so you set it up and it stays up. And it, it isn't super tippy. It's a little bit tippy in the garden because it's not flat and solid, but that's because I don't have the best garden. <laughs> When I was doing this earlier, I found that if you didn't have very many seeds left in the hopper, it had a hard time picking them up. So you definitely wanna make sure you put more seeds in than what you're planning on planting. Um, you know, if you're not buying massive bulk amounts of seeds, you might have issues not getting enough seeds in the hopper for it to actually work properly. But I'm assuming if you're only planting a couple of something, you probably aren't gonna bother <laughs> getting a cedar. It's, it's a little bit overkill unless you're doing a lot. And then you just push it. it doesn't really need any effort. It, it rolls pretty nicely.
Before you start seeding anything, you wanna set your seed depth, which is this piece right here. It just uh, loosens easily. If I can figure out which way to turn it. <laughs> and then it's actually marked on the side for the depth. So right now I have it at half an inch. And you know, if I wanted to take it down to an inch and a half, that's marked on there too. However deep your specific seeds need to get planted, you set it there before you put the seeds into the cedar. So my initial thoughts using this for the first time is that I like it. I've, I've never used a cedar before and it went super fast. As fast as I personally am at hand seeding, you know, doesn't compare to this, even with the fiddling and fussing around with changing out seed plates, setting up seeds and into the hopper and all that, it, this is still like worth doing, at least if you're doing more than, you know, like a short row. I didn't like how many components of this was plastic. I would have preferred to, you know, have like metal <laughs> plate seed plates metal hopper um but despite it being you know like giving the initial impression of being flimsy the seed plates went in nicely they they weren't loose and rattling around so even though there are a lot of plastic pieces to it i'd say that it seems so far that the quality of plastic is high enough that it, it shouldn't be an issue I'm happy with the price to the quality of the product. I need to wait and see how my my seeds pop up to know like how how well it was seeding. You know, you can't necessarily see all the seeds dropping into the ground. So after these germinate, I'll have a better idea of how well the product actually worked. But so far, the only problem that I see with it is that it's so easy to use that it caused me to seed more than I was planning on doing. I ended up doing 10 rows of radishes, which is too many just because it was going by so quickly. I didn't even really notice how many I was planting. So that, you know, that is one thing that you need to be careful of with this. It's uh, you go out, spend the day in the garden, and then all of a sudden you have way too much garden. <laughs> It's been a little bit since I did the seeding and I'm fairly happy with how well the the cedar worked. I did have two issues with it. Um, the first issue is that my seeding was a little bit inconsistent. There's gaps, there's spaces that just have nothing seeded into them. And I would be a little bit concerned that maybe something was happening with the seeder, other than the fact that there was a section that I hand seeded and I have the same gaps. So because there are those gaps in the hand seeded sections, I'm pretty sure that it's my soil, or some sort of pest that got in and ate up the seeds. It's not actually that the cedar wasn't consistently dropping seeds. The second issue that I had is I had some overseeding, like really badly, in my turnips. Um, but yet again, I think I'm gonna blame that on me. The seeding was like pretty, pretty steady, pretty consistent for some of the other seeds. And what I suspect is that I used a larger seed plate than I should have for the turnips that I put in there. I think maybe I just forgot to change the plate from when I did the radish because the turnip seeds were quite small. And so I think it's just, it's gonna take a little bit of playing to learn which seed plate uh, should get used for which variety. Overall, I'm really excited to be using it for next year and experimenting further. And I'm, I'm still really happy with the price point to time saved so far. So let me know below if you found this review useful. Um, I do recommend purchasing this and if you're thinking of getting it yourself, I will have a link below in the description if you want a click through to get one for yourself. 
and if you're interested in seeing just how uh, we use this on the new farm that we're developing, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos. Uh, oh, like you're wrecking the footage. No, I was going to make the car sounds. It was okay. going by so Here, fast. Back up.